I went shopping a couple of days ago and uh, I wanted to go to Amy's Hardware, which is the very first place I went uh, on part one of my Shopping Without a Mask documentary series. And um, I needed to get some, some hardware parts and I wasn't planning on doing any video while I went there. But my wife said, why don't you just take the camera in case you need it. And uh, so actually what happened was my son uh, decided that he would be doing it. So he actually recorded it and uh, something messed up. Um, it's an old old cell phone and uh, I guess something got corrupted and the their initial part of the of the event uh, uh, came out corrupted and so we couldn't show that so I'm happy to narrate it now kind of tell you what started it and then I'll I'll, I'll let the, the pictures continue from there so we walked into the store um, I had two of my youngest sons one of them with the video camera, well, with the cell phone camera. And uh, we went back to the back room where we would uh, need to get the service. And uh, there was a whole bunch of people standing in line, all of them wearing masks. So I stood there and then um, I had a suspicion that, okay, today's gonna be some trouble. And I was right. Um, it turns out I didn't realize he was the manager, but it turns out that the manager, came in and he says, sir, we, you, uh, we won't serve you um, if you don't have a mask. And I said, I um, can't remember exactly how I said it, but basically I said, no, I can't wear a mask and, um, and uh, have a health condition. I just jumped right onto that one. And, um, and he basically didn't accept that. Um, but to his credit, um, he did offer several options, um, saying that I could stand outside the store and he would purchase it for me and I would make, use a credit card, uh, to do that. And, uh, but I told him, okay, well, I don't have any credit card today. I have just cash. So I, um, I agreed to that thinking that, Hey, if nothing else, it, this would be an interesting experience because I've never shopped like that before so um, he basically put me to the front of the line I guess he wanted to get rid of me quickly so he put me to the front of the line and he started helping me and uh, I showed him what I needed and um, this is where the video does continue uh, so I went and I got the parts that I uh, well he, he didn't, um, he wanted me to outside, waiting outside the door. And so I handed him one thing and then he was going to do that. But there was something else that I needed also. And, uh, and as I was going um, out uh, and trying to tell him what else I needed, I said, you know, um, this is probably going to be easier if I just show you. <laughs> it's, it's actually no different than actually shopping. But so I found what I needed and. I showed him what that was. And um, so the, I know the video includes this part. Okay, I need two of those. Okay. You need two of those? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Where would you, where would you bring me? Okay. 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 The, um, the 90 degree elbow, that's also three quarter inch. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I mean, hold on. Okay. Yeah, this type of material. Yeah, they would be right here. Yeah. It's, it's right here, sir. Got it? It's, it's going to be right in here somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's like this, except it's... Oh, here it is, I think. 
Do you even know how much those things are going to cost? Um, and uh, then I waited outside. Now, this is where, at this point, um, he's getting this stuff from me, and um, I gave him the money for it, and he uh, brought out only one of the things in the confusion of everything. I didn't notice, didn't, didn't realize he didn't give me all the things that I bought. He gave me one out of the three things. So uh, it was actually the most important thing. And so I went home and I realized, oh, wait a minute, what happened to these parts? Um, so I had to go back and and then my son did continue to show all that part of the story. Uh, um, but I decided that um, that I was just going to be getting a refund instead and cause some kind of give him a piece of my mind about the whole mass thing. And you can see lots of comments that I made. So I think with with that explanation just now, I think that it's enough to lay the basis of of uh, what happened. And then you all let the, the rest of the uh, recording uh, explain what else happened. Okay, we're at Amy's again. The second time at Amy's. Actually, the third time. Mm -mm. Oh, man. Okay, this action. Let's go in the back and find him. We're basically going to get the money back and we're going to buy the other part at Home Depot. And if it doesn't work there, we're going to keep finding this part. Hi, I'm looking for the man that helped me when I was here. Can you tell from the receipt who that was? The O-ring? What do you want? Yeah, the, the man who sold me that stuff, he didn't give me what, all my parts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. I know who you are. It's up at the register. Hold on one second. Okay, let me just make sure. Okay. Jeff, he's in the cutting room. Can you bring him the stuff? I'm gonna get a refund. He's on his way. Okay, got it. He's on his way right now. He's also the manager, so he okay. can take care of the Good, refund. perfect. Yeah. Okay, stop it. Oh, is he right there? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you mean my, that's an associate, but the uh, man, my manager has your items. Oh. Hey, hey, come okay. here. Okay, so not the word that helped me. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hey, now, I've, I've been a loyal customer for years, and I am so disgusted by how you guys treat me. You say it's a law. It is not a law. Okay, sir. It doesn't, I don't care what you think. It's not a law. And the only reason way it's ever going to stop is if you stop wearing masks. And if you just let me buy things like I did in the past, Nobody would care. But I'm just stopping promoting this. Why does your now, I am gonna be video taping and, us and I am gonna get a refund and take my business elsewhere. Okay, so where do I go for the refund? Okay, let me show you, okay? Let me show you. And, and all we're doing we're doing what the governor wants to You know do. what? The governor is full of shit and he's okay. causing the problem. Okay. 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 If you haven't figured out that you need to sign the recall notice, then you're missing the okay. boat. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm sorry about what happened with that. I'm sorry, but as far as the mask go, I don't like wearing a mask. Then you should stop. No. You should stop enforcing it. It's bullshit. It's not the policy. It's then change the company okay. because I'm not supporting you guys anymore. Okay. I'll go to a slow perspective, okay?
so you can get a better picture of that action. Are you open? Okay, let's give this gentleman his uh, money back. Wait! Okay, member? These two things. 916. What was cash? 419. Okay, Don't touch the cookies. Don't buy the cookies. Home Depot doesn't enforce this shit. By the way, just so you know, Home Depot, Home Depot doesn't enforce this shit. Okay, first of all, sir, let's watch the language. She's just a young lady. She has nothing to do with this. Okay, okay. but she, she should know. She, you should know. Everybody she should know. She has nothing to do with this. She's wearing a mask, so she okay. has Ooh. everything to do with it. Go, 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 go. <gasps> No. Okay. All right. Have a good day. Okay. Okay. So, did you record it? Yep. Okay. Is it still going? Yep. Okay. Good. Okay. So, camera work, courtesy of my son. Okay. So, I don't know how much you heard on that recording, uh, but um, I have been supporting uh, for a long time, Amy's. And the very first episode of my documentary series here, part one, was coming to Amy's and shopping. So now they come in, uh, this manager or somebody decides that they are going to be enforcing the mask instead of letting you go like the first time. So, so instead, of, um, instead of supporting them with that idiotic behavior like they did this time, I decided, you know what, they don't deserve my business i it will not promote anybody coming here and again come on get in and um so this is going to be the end of that and uh even though i would not prefer to support home depot i know that they don't uh, cause problems there so that's where we're going now and i'm going to buy the rest of what i need at home depot and to hell with amy's now anybody else who has a situation like this where they are um, getting uh, uh, something at a place that they have preferred in the past and they um, have a choice to go somewhere else. You should go to the place that will allow you to shop and, and let them know. But, and go out, make a, make a fuss when you go out because if they don't realize that they are shoving away business and, and loyal customers then you know is they basically won't even know a diff you know, the difference what you know they won't miss you one single person but you know you have to you have to go out with a fuss because otherwise nothing's going to change so that's the end of this one i'm going to uh continue my shopping day um, over at home depot now okay bye